Good afternoon, friends and fellow workers. Uh, I'm with the industrial workers of the world, and I'm here to express our, so our solidarity with the Harvard workers. Uh, the, uh, the main point I want to make today is that what's going on here at Harvard is not an isolated incident at all. This, uh, this kind of stuff, attacks on workers and the standards of workers, is going on all over the world. Uh, in the recent past, I've attended rallies of postal workers, telephone workers, education work, public education workers, and of course Harvard workers. This will be the tenth rally that I've attended here at Harvard. And people have to keep in mind, as they fight for their own standards, as the uh, Harvard clerical and technical workers fight for their standards, that what's going, that what is happening to them is happening to workers every place. It's not an isolated struggle at all. And the reason it's happening is that capitalism is in crisis, and the crisis is not going to go away until we get rid of capitalism. Okay, uh, we have to realize that our struggle here is the struggle of all of us, all workers together. And it's not a matter of yeah, our parochial concern, it's a matter of uh, society in general. Everything is going down the tubes. Uh, just a couple of days ago I heard a speaker from Greece talking about the attacks that, that we all know about on the uh, standards of the Greek workers, and he said that the same stuff is going on all around the periphery of Europe, that it's uh, taking place and going to take place in Portugal and Ireland, and going to come closer and closer to the, the center of Europe, to Germany and France, the, uh, the wealthiest parts of Europe. And we've seen in this country an unending, uh, for the past yeah, yeah. 10 years or so, unending attacks on the standards of workers. And it's not going to end unless we either get rid of them or they drive us back to the Dickensian conditions of the 19th century that we fought and our forebears fought really hard to turn around and to make life decent for ourselves. Okay, uh, we really have to keep that in mind. It's not a matter of just the Harvard Libraries. It's a matter of the entire society, and the entire society now is the society of the entire world. Yeah, they've globalized the economy and they've globalized society. And we have to stand in solidarity with all the other workers and dump them off our backs. Okay, the uh, a second point I want to make is the point of industrial unionism. In the IWW, we have a, an old slogan, one class, one enemy, one union. The idea is that all, wor all workers are under attack from the, s the same minority of capitalists and that we all have to stand together or we're going to go down one by one and lose altogether. And, you know, we have uh, the Harvard and clerical and technical workers, and we're out here in support of them today. We've had messages from the SEIU dining hall workers. Uh, we, we know uh, over the years we've been out here in support of the uh, custodial workers at Harvard, and I, I'm pretty sure there are faculty unions. And yet they're all separate. They, they each stand up for a fairly narrow interest, yeah, which is not a bad thing. They should be standing up for themselves. But, yeah, one by one they get picked off, despite the fact that they're all under attack from the, the same source. They have the same enemy. And there is no reason whatsoever that they should not be in the same union fighting shoulder to shoulder, not supporting one another's separate struggles, but to engage in the same struggle across the board.